In middle school, there was two baseball teams that had fought their way all the way to the championship game. As the championship came, all the people from all the towns came on out to watch as it was a big deal. These middle school kids were going back and forth, one run after another, one score after another, all until it came to the last inning. And this boy stepped up to the plate and ended up cracking it right down the baseline, all the way to the left out, outfield. The left fielder got to the ball as fast as he could and chucked it into third base just as another kid was running to third base. The boy had caught the ball and went down to tag the kid as he slid into third. And the umpire called him out. And everybody was like, yeah, you know, it was the third out. You just saved the game. Like that kid would have ended up going home. Like that was the greatest play ever. Well, the little boy in middle school ended up going up to the ref and said, you know, I didn't take him. I missed him and he was actually safe. Now, everybody ended up in the in the stands having a meltdown. They were like, what, what are you talking, oh my gosh, like, keep quiet, like, shut up, what are you doing? And the boy said, I, I can't lie, you know, I, I didn't get him out. And the ref reversed the call and the boy ended up making it home to win the game. The whole town and his whole team were just couldn't believe it and they, they hated this kid they were like why didn't you just keep your mouth shut we could have won the championship like how could have you cost us the game this kid lived with that for a long period of time <clears throat> until you know it ended up being their high school year and the same team of high school boys that played way back in middle school now made it to the high school championships and as they're playing and playing, they once again, it's one of these games where it's going back and forth, point for point. And lo and behold, this year, the same kid, he's now playing second base. One of the kids, just as in middle school, steps up, cranks the ball, it goes far out into center field. The center field chases it down, chucks the ball into the, the center field, into the halfway point, halfway point, gets it right to the second baseman, gets it right to the kid, the same kid. And just as last time, another kid from first base was coming and sliding his way in. And all at once, he got his glove down and the ref yells out, safe. And the boy just kind of walks away and he's shaking his head and he's accepting the call and he doesn't say anything. But he realizes this ref was the same ref that he had in middle school. And the ref walks up and says, boy, did you, did you take him? And he said, yeah, I got him right before he got his foot down. And the ref, amongst everybody else, stood up and said, the boy, I've made my mind up, he's out. And everybody went, what the heck, you already made a call. You, you can't reverse it now, you can't change it. And he says, you know what? I trust this boy's opinion and I trust what he says more than anything else. And if he says he's out, he was out. People were like in disbelief. How do you, who dare you take the word of this child? And the ref once again stood by the decision and said, the integrity that this boy had shown me a while back is still the same as it is now. And that to me means more than any other call that I could ever make. And the audience sat there and think, thought about it for a moment. If, if we're known to have more integrity and to do what's right throughout our lives, people are gonna trust in us and come to us and believe us more than anything on else. And that choice between doing what's right and wrong and to be able to stand up in those moments, even when we're gonna get ridiculed, torn apart, or made to feel less than, if we do what's right in those moments, in the long run, it is gonna pay off more than anything else. And we need to have the integrity and the conviction to be able to continually stick to that. And that choice every single day is up to each and every one of us.